Welcome to this tutorial of how to check out digital media from the Davies County Library. In this tutorial we're going to focus on how to check out a book. So the first thing you have to do is find a book that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a search here. And since I want to make sure we check out a book today, I'm going to go ahead and check available now. So we find something that's available right now to check out. So we've brought back some titles here. Here's a title, A Time to Kill. It's by John Grisham. There's two different versions of the book. There's a Kindle version and there's an Adobe EPUB version. Now, if I had a Kindle book, I'd want to get the Kindle version. And if I had anything else, I'd want to get this. So say, let's say I had an iPad and I had an Overdrive Media app on it. I'd get this one. So I'll go ahead and click Add to the Cart. This is going to bring me to my cart. Right now, this is the only thing that's in my cart. You see a time to kill, and you see that it's in a Toby EPUB. So if I wanted to get some more books, I could go ahead and click Continue Browsing. But for now, I think this is all I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click Proceed to Checkout. Now I have to sign into my account. If I was already signed into my account, I wouldn't have to do this step. But I'm not, so I'm going to sign in now. I go ahead and type in my library's name. And that's Davies County Library. So I started typing in D, and these other libraries are going to come up. Okay. So what I want to do is type in DAV, and that's going to bring up only Davies County Library. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Then I'm going to go ahead and put my library card number in here. Now be sure to put your own library card number in, not this number. Your library card number is going to be on the back of your library card and it's going to start out with PAT and then it's going to have some numbers behind it. So put in your card number, not this one. Alright, after we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and click Sign In. And it's going to get us to our checkout page. On the checkout pa page, it's going to tell us all the books that we're checking out. Here's the title of the book that I'm checking out. It's going to let me choose how many days I want it for. I can choose either 14 days or 7 days, as you can see there. After that time has elapsed, the book will automatically return itself. And then down here, it's telling you what's going on with the account. Everybody can only check out five books at a time. And then right now, I've got two books already checked out. After I check out this book, I'm going to have two checkouts remaining. So that sounds good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm the checkout. Okay, so here it is. It's checked out from the library, and this is when it'll be automatically returned, but it hasn't been downloaded to my device or my computer yet. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and click download, and it's going to bring up this little download dialog box. And since we are downloading this book to our computer, we're going to go ahead and click open with. We're going to hit Browse, and then we're going to go find Adobe Digital Editions. That's right here at the top for me. Yours might be located somewhere else, so you might have to go looking for it. Once we've selected Adobe Digital Editions, we're going to go ahead and push OK. And that's going to bring up the Adobe Digital Editions um, program, and it's going to download the book to that program and you can go ahead and read your book here within the Adobe Digital Editions program. And that's how you download a book to your computer. Now if you wanted to go ahead and transfer this to your Nook device or another supported e-reader, we'll show you how to do that in our next training.